Are you considering moving to Florida? Well, whether you're thinking of moving to Florida to be our year round resident, or possibly you're thinking of just a second home for the winter season and you're going to be a snowbird, or are you considering maybe even just purchasing a vacation home and spending two or three weeks a year here and renting it out the rest of the time? All of these are reasons why people end up moving to Florida. And five and a half years ago, I moved to Florida. So I wanted to share some thoughts and some advice to maybe help you decide if the Florida move is is really right for you. And stick around to the end because I'm gonna share the number one piece of advice that I think most people don't really talk about very often when contemplating this move. One of the most absolutely crucial steps in deciding on making a move to Florida is determining what city in Florida is right for you. Now, Florida is large and we have so many options. Most people will tell me they're moving to Florida for one of two reasons, either weather or taxes. Now, while this is all wonderful, that does not help you to decide which coast or which which city is right for you. I think my biggest piece of advice to share is that you have to come and visit and you have to feel the cities. Ask yourself a number of questions. First of all, what price point of home and area are you looking for? The price point and cost of living in any city is vitally important. How far is your dollar gonna go? And that's not just the price of your home, but that's the price of insurance, taxes, food, entertainment, and so much more. Now the thought of living in Delray Beach might be super appealing to you and living close to the beach, but is that going to be realistic in your budget? Another key factor is traffic. Now traffic in Miami is going to feel completely different than traffic in Fort Myers. You have to ask yourself, are you looking for a lot of activities? Again, for instance, Tampa, Miami, and Orlando are all home to major sports teams. They have concert venues, they have festivals, and they have so much more. Or or perhaps you're looking for a city close to water or beaches. These are all things people have to ask themselves before deciding to move. And also, is Disney playing a factor in your decision to move to Florida? Even if living in Orlando is not something that you ever wanted to do, do you wanna take in the theme parks and is this important to you? Once you've narrowed down the city, you really have to visit. And I'd say visit often and multiple times before deciding that is the right place for you. You need to look at the demographics and the activities and just feel it out. Once you've decided on your city, then you have to decide on your neighborhood. And it's very similar as deciding a city. You need to go and visit and you need to visit neighborhoods and locations. For instance, I live here on the Florida Gulf Coast in Sarasota and our area encompasses Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch, and Venice. And we have thousands of neighborhoods. Here you'd have to decide, do you want to be close to the beaches? Do you want to be close to schools? Do you want an old home or a new home? Do you want to be in the heart of the city? Or not? Do you want to be close to airports and interstate? There's so much exploring that goes into making this decision of what the best neighborhood is. Now, your realtor should be able to help you, guide you, share you, and just give you all that kind of information. Another piece of advice or information I'd like to share are that homes are built a little differently here in Florida, specifically along the coastline. Due to our water, humidity, insects, our homes are primarily block construction, and this is important to know. Also, so a large majority of our homes are all electric and you no longer need that gas furnace. Here we have heat pumps and electric water heaters. Now you could come across a stick built home. However, there can be issues that run with this. For instance, it might be higher cost to insure due to hurricanes. Also, there could be some wood destroying organisms that are easily penetrating this home. And some of our suburban communities, we're gonna still see homes on septics and well water. So keep all of these factors in mind when you're looking at homes. Now, over 50% of our homes most likely will have pools, and most of those pools are gonna be covered with a cage. Pool cages are very, very common, and this is due to safety requirements. Pool cages also provide an excellent barrier to bugs and harsh sunlight. Now, some of the best features of a screen pool cage is that it provides security from any kind of debris, and it's much easier to keep your pool clean. And yes, the pool cages also will keep critters and alligators out. If you're worried about alligators, it is something that I'm going to advise that you have to get used to because in Florida, alligators can be found in almost all fresh bodies of water. If you're concerned about that, I would tell you not to live in an area or a home that backs up to a pond. Now, another piece of advice, get familiar with Florida politics. I try not to discuss politics very often, but in our environment, I think it's crucially important to be educated in Florida politics. Florida has long been considered a swing state. So 
read up on what's going on today because whether you love it or hate it, we right now have a Republican Governor DeSantis and I'm hearing a lot of people move to the area because of him and a lot that are leaving because of him. So really prepare yourself and know what's going on politically in Florida. My next piece of advice is get involved. When moving from another state or city and leaving behind your friends and family and your natural way of life, you have to get out and create a new life. In the past, we would meet people through work, churches, or perhaps through our children or volunteering. Now, many people that relocate to Florida are coming without family. Now, I will say we're having a lot of families move to our area, but historically, we know that a lot of empty nesters and people without young children move to the area, and I find it imperative to get involved. You have to find interests that connects you with other people. Although most of us have come here from somewhere else and you can find friends very easily, the only way to do that is to get involved. For instance, I know so many people that have met through joining meetup groups. Meetup has thousands of clubs and organizations to join. Whether it's a book club, bike club, or a dining club, there is something for everyone on Meetup and I highly suggest looking into Meetup to get involved. Other options are join a golf course or tennis club or biking group. There's so many ways or you're moving to Florida. So our lifestyle is all about being outside. So find a new hobby or things that you've always wanted to do and get involved. Now my biggest piece of advice when moving to Florida, now this is something that I don't think is talked about enough, but I want you to consider everyone that you're moving away from and what you're leaving. It's not just about moving to this area that has beautiful weather and without state income tax. So many people move here and then they decide that it's not right for them. And the number one reason people leave is because they're moving back to be close to family. So did you consider who you're leaving and what that's going to look like? For many of my friends and I, we do not have family around and we spend a lot of vacation days and times flying around to visit those that we love the most. I'm not saying that's good or bad. That is not something that's talked about a lot, but it is something that I think you should consider greatly. What is it going to feel like to not be there for family events? And what's it gonna be feel like if your parent or child becomes ill and you're not there with them? It is an important factor in moving to Florida. So I'd love to hear your comments below. Are you thinking of moving to Florida or have you moved to Florida? And have some great pieces of advice that you'd like to share with the viewers. I would love to hear from you. I really appreciate you watching, reaching out, and letting me know if I can be of help. Also follow me on TikTok and Instagram we're having lots of fun creating videos out there as well. So again, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.